What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension overview for you. So this week I'm very excited to be covering a brand new extension from Trimble that allows you to resize materials really quickly within your models. Before I get started, I want to thank my newest supporters on Patreon. So big thank you to Bill Shea, Ismail Elabudi, Andreas Muller, and Robert Sneed. Patreon, as most of you know, is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. One of the perks of being a supporter on Patreon is you get to vote on the extension that I cover every week. So if that's something you're interested in, you want to vote on the extension that I cover, or if you're just looking for a way to support the show, make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. Plugin name, Material Resizer. Plugin developer, Trimble. Plugin cost, it's free. Where can you get it? You can download it from the SketchUp extension warehouse or at the link in the notes below. Tool functions. This is a very simple tool, but I think it's absolutely vital, and I'm very happy that Trimble has released it. So for this example, we're going to use a 3D warehouse model, and so this model is so this model is the LA house by SC Christoph. And we're just going to use this because this is a fairly detailed model. Um, there's actually nothing really wrong with the way that it's modeled, um, but we're going to take a look at what Material Resizer can do to make it even better. And so what this extension does is it's very simple, but it gives you a menu that you can run, which will then give you a list of all of the materials inside your model. And one of the more valuable things about this is not only will it give you a list of the materials, it'll also give you a list of the size of those materials. Well, what that does is that can give you a really good idea of which materials are big and which materials are small within SketchUp. And this is really valuable because one of the things that really can slow a SketchUp model down is the size of the materials in the model. So this by itself is very valuable. However, what's even more valuable is not only does this have the ability to list the materials in your model, it also has the the ability to resize the materials in your model. So the way, the way that it works is very simple. When you first start, it'll give you a list of all the materials in your model. If you want to, you can click on the little funnel right here to filter by the number of materials larger than a certain size. So let's say, for example, I wanted to filter this, so I'm only showing materials that are 5, 12, or larger. And so what that'll do is that'll give me this big, long list. And then, you can select the materials that you want. So you could either do a select all by clicking on this button right here, or you could select individual materials. And what we can do is we can resize those materials. So we can resize those materials to something smaller that we select. So in this case, if I wanted to, I could type in a value of 512 or something a little bigger, and uh, I could go ahead and I could click the Go button. And when I click the Go button, what this is going to do is it's going to go through and it's going to run a script in the background that's going to resize all of the materials that I have selected to this size. And one thing to note is I had to kind of reduce the number of materials that I had selected. I don't know if that was something I was doing wrong or if that's a limitation, but it seemed to work better when I reduced the number of materials I selected. And so when I do that, it's going to tell me that it went in and it resized six materials. And so when it did that, you can see how those materials now get moved down below they've been resized to a smaller size. So when I resize these to a smaller size, if I was to close this and just do like a file, save as, and save this as a LA house by SC Kristoff reduced, you can see how this SketchUp file is actually several megabytes smaller than it was before. And so for this model, like I said, there wasn't anything wrong with it. So there weren't any like ultra high resolution textures or anything like that in here. So you didn't get like a huge drop, but you'll definitely see a performance increase as you make those materials smaller. So and one thing I want to take, it, take a look at a little bit closer is if I select this wall, let's take a look at this material 17. So if I go into material resizer and you can see how this is an 800 by 619 material, well what I want to do is I want to go in and I want to reduce that even smaller. And we're going to go ahead and go fairly extreme and go down to like 300 pixels or something like that. And so let's go ahead and take a look at what this does when we do this. I'm going to click the go button and I have no idea why this was doing this. It was getting a little finicky when I was selecting materials, but then when I typed in a smaller pixel amount, it resized it just fine. And so I actually ended up reducing this to like 150 pixels. And so I wanted to take a look at this um, just to give you kind of an idea of what that did. So you can see how now this material 17, which I made ultra low resolution because I brought this down to like 150 pixels, is in here, but it's very blurry. So it didn't really lose the proportion 
So you can see how this took the largest direction of this material and resized it to the 150 pixels and then the smallest got reduced proportionally so your materials don't lose their proportions but you do need to be aware when you do this if you turn these like way way down then you're not going to get very good resolution on your textures so there's kind of a trade-off there that uh, you need to have when you're doing this but this is definitely a very valuable way to be able to come in and reduce the size of your models. So I think the question is going to be, do these still come in as high resolution when you render them in like V-Ray or something like that? And the answer is no. Um, when you reduce the resolution of these images, they're going to get rendered at reduced resolution as well. So if you're planning on doing rendering or anything that requires high resolution textures, be careful with what you do with this. But for anyone that's trying to manage the size of your SketchUp models within SketchUp, this is a great tool. Um, that's where I'm going to wrap up this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Is this helpful to you? Is this something you could see yourself? using. I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. But as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.